Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. And uh, today we're going to see if we can uh, land some of our Kerbins on the moon. We'll uh, see if we can send Valentina to the moon. Or the Mun. Let's see here. I think I was working on something. Got Baby's First Ship, Untitled Craft. What was that one? Oh, that's this. Okay, never mind. Just leave it and new ship. Don't save any of the changes. So, what do we want here? Well, the most basic ship we would do is just a straight up single stage lander. We don't care about staging, I guess, at this point. How much waste we leave in orbit. Eventually, I'm going to try to do uh, fully recoverable rockets, but that's going to be a ways away. So with a terrier engine, and we do have legs. We don't have ladders, but it is the mun, so really who cares? Uh, we'll try to get some scientific instruments on here, if we can manage it. Oh, getting a science junior would be actually a big win if I can land that on the mun with her. We don't have to. What we can do with it is we can just plop it on here. She can grab the experiments that get run from it. And uh, then we can take it back. Although it makes the higher the craft is, the more unstable it can get. And that could be problematical down the line. We'll see. We could also make the base wider and that would make it more stable. We'll see. Anyway, we'll call this one Mun 1. Did I actually get a spelled right? Wow, no, not even close. There we go, Mun 1. Yeah, XSplit's still blocking my uh, thing here, so actually just a minute, folks, I'm going to fix that. All right, there we go, folks. Sorry if there was a little bit of, uh, like, pause and stop there for a sec. Anyway, we're back. Got that sorted out. I can now see this area of the screen, which is nice. Let's throw in a couple of mysterious goo canisters. Uh, I think for this one... Well, it's going to have a really fast re-entry, but I think we're safe with just the same old parachute. I don't think we need any drogue shoots. So we've got a Science Junior on there. What else do we want here? Got our landing gear. Electronics might be helpful so we don't lose our batteries and our reaction wheels. Solar panels might be useful too if we could get those. So we're going to save it here. We're going to leave and we're going to see what we can get with science. We might be able to uh, unlock some new parts here, which would be very, very nice. We can't afford to update our labs yet. So we're still working bare bones here. Electronics, we do not quite have enough for even the most basic scientific instruments yet. Including lights. In fact, we're pretty much locked out of every scientific uh, advance we could get. All right, even heavy rocketry, unfortunately and fuel systems. That is unfortunate. That's gonna make this a lot harder. Well, it's gonna make it somewhat harder at least. Anyway, we'll start with these retracted so they don't create drag. 
We've got our coupler down. So we have tech for larger couplers, but that's it. Okay. Also going to need a respectable amount of delta V here to launch this thing into orbit. So it's going to be a rather large vessel. Do we have... Oh, we don't even have the freaking fuel pumps yet. That's irritating. So I was considering just doing uh, liquid fuel boosters and then just uh, having them come off in uh, stages. Anyway, let's see what we can manage. Get a communitron antenna on here just in case. Got pretty much all the good science stuff. We'll get Kerbal Engineer uh, Kerbal Engineering System just in case. Yeah, we can put it on the side of that. On the back of the Science Junior, that'll be fine. Well, we'll want a swivel engine. So, so far we don't have quite enough delta V to even get into orbit. Wonder if we can get any experimental parts, because that would make this a lot easier. Having bigger fuel tanks, better engines, anything would uh, make it a little easier. Also, how many boosters can I throw on here? Not that many. This doesn't look quite as ridiculous, though. Anyway, let's look for missions. Explore the moon. I'd like you to uh, go to the moon and stay there in a nice stable orbit. We need you to perform a spacewalk in orbit around the moon. This time, uh, try to keep your helmet free of bodily fluids. Uh-huh. Okay. No barfing in the helmet. Got it. You can't just leave vessels in the moon forever. Those things are expensive. Return one to Kerbin. Okay. All right, so they actually just want us to go into orbit first. And they'll probably pay for the spacecraft in its entirety. They want me to test a Terrier engine when I'm landing on Kerbin. Okay. Has a 3.75 meter heat shield. Good lord. Let's try this one. See if it's the right decoupler. Because we might be using that decoupler already. So which model is it? TRA stack decoupler in flight. Yeah, we'll be doing that anyway. So they want us to do that. Well, we can do that just on any mission, I guess. That won't be too difficult. our thrust to weight ratio here it's not very good um let's see here what sort of thrust are these things going to give us they're going to give us 250 in atmosphere so better than these definitely better than this Yeah, 
Yeah, at this point, there's no point in, uh, there's no reason to not just use boosters instead. They're cheaper and they're more effective. Okay, so we'll do that. That gives us... Hmm. I'd like more Delta V still. I'd also like an entirely different stage too. I'd like to use this one to get us to the moon. So I think I'm going to do that. So it'll be like a three stage deal here. Maybe this one will be a smaller uh, stage. No, apparently not. Well, actually, this one's... Is this one really four fuel tanks? No, it's not. Yeah, I think it is, actually. Okay, well, this one will only be three. It will not have the thrust-to-weight ratio to even get its ass off the ground without boosters. Now it has a reasonable thrust-to-weight ratio. We need that sucker to... We need that sucker to go. Okay. Would it make sense to put more of these on, or is that just asking for more explosions? Yeah, no, that seems like a terrible idea. Somehow we get this thing way before the uh, way before the command module. Interestingly enough. Okay. Let's see. Six thousand three hundred ninety-three delta V. Maybe. What if we added another fuel tank onto the uh, first stage? What would that do for us? An extra 200 delta V? I'm just going to try to get these boosters so that they uh, don't cause the craft to wobble on the pad, because I'm assuming that would be a bad thing. There we go. And just to ensure that there will be no wobbling, I'll go ahead and uh, get these things hooked up as well. Let this just a bit more to the ground. Although this thing's really, really long and tall. It makes me a bit nervous. Well, we'll see. This is just a test. We'll also just double check where the uh, fuel pumps are, because I would really like uh, to get fuel pumps. Those would be the best. Because these things right here, external fuel dunks, you can use those in combination with these tanks to uh, send fuel to all the engines from one tank and then that uh, that ends up being very very useful anyway let's get the sucker uh, launched we'll see how it flies and we'll see if we can't send uh, Valentina to the moon I'm 
just going to fix the staging on this. I think everything else is good. No, it's not. Somehow those got separated again. Okay, well, also these should be down here, and this should be here. And also the craft is off-center, but who cares? Well, at least it flies. I forgot little nose cones there, but hopefully that's not going to be a problem. So we're going to send this thing going straight up for as long as we can because it's really, really long and I think it's going to be really, it's going to start spinning out if we do anything else. We're going to go ahead and reduce the thrust on the first stage here. Just a little bit because we're going fast enough. Now full thrust here. And this is one of the things I was afraid of actually is that this thing is actually has a slightly negative thrust to weight ratio. Wait, nope, now we're good. Okay, so for a second there it was actually losing speed while going up, which is poorly designed to say the least. However, we're going to at least get ourselves into orbit, which is good. So to an orbital height at the very least. I should have thrown in more reaction wheels. How are we for electrical power? 450 out of 450, so that should be good. Also, we probably shouldn't have launched at night. Whoops. Alright, so at this point I think we can go ahead and... Uh, we should have tilted a while ago, but oh well. How's our orbit? looking pretty good got good maneuverability on this at this point how much delta V do we have left in this stage oh we've got should have more than enough to get us into orbit, maybe even a little bit uh, to get us out of orbit too. Assuming we don't hit our apoapsis before we should. And just to make sure that doesn't happen, we're gonna tilt up a little bit. Just burn prograde now, we should be fine. Yeah, 100 meters, that's fine. Let's turn on the surface one here, so... Horizontal velocity... Yeah, we're getting there. There we go, that's good enough. Time warp over here. Get rid of the surface one now. I don't think we really need it. And then just a little 100 meter per second or so correction will uh, give us a nice circular orbit.
There we go. Perfect. Beautiful circular orbit, and now we just need to pick our approach for the moon. So typically, you want to go for like a quarter of its orbit, I believe. So I want to set my maneuver node here, and we will see. Just zoom out a little, and we'll see when we have a lunar encounter. Yeah. So usually, wherever it is, you want to be like one quarter of the... Um, you want to be aiming for 25% uh, of its orbit where it will be. If that makes any sense, folks. Anyway, let's go ahead and warp down here. We'll probably start this burn a little bit early because I have a feeling that this sucker's gonna flame out or run out of fuel. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna run out of fuel. It's got, it has six seconds of Delta V left in it. Awesome. Yeah, and we need 750. Yeah. So we'll just get this done and over with. This burn's going to take a lot longer than uh, 20 seconds. We have... This much delta V left. I'm not conf I'm not hundred percent confident we can actually land this thing. Oh well, either way we'll get some science. And if we can't land it, then we'll uh, launch something bigger next time. With better parts. Let's actually follow the maneuver node instead of just prograde. There, we got a lunar encounter. Perfect. Okay, apparently we can actually get uh, some science from here. We're going to leave that for now, and we're going to just reset, because we want science from the moon. And probably uh, lunar orbital will be good enough. What's this here? What are we getting a check mark for? Cool. Oh, we got a mission out of that. Cool. <laughs> we didn't save the science, but cool. All right, there's the mun. Oh, we're going to crash into it. That's lovely. <laughs> Will we even crash into a light side of it? Nope. <laughs> All right, fine. Well, let's... Uh... Let's add a maneuver, I guess. And there goes the timer. We'll add a maneuver for an extremely uh, low orbital flyby of the Mun. I don't think there's any mountains that stick 23 kilometers out of the surface, just in case, though. Thirty-one kilometers above the surface, perfect. Actually, let's just execute that now. Kill the maneuver node. This is 33. Beautiful. 
and we'll add a maneuver to slow us down and give us a semi-circular orbit. Forty-six and thirty-one. Sure. Sold. Let's warp on over there. How's our power levels? Electrical charge is still doing pretty good. And we're in the middle of the dark. The light in the uh, capsule doesn't do much. Just gonna warp on over here. And we'll be burning retrograde. Get the ship all turned around. And we'll kill time warp and get ready for our maneuver. There we go. That's good enough. Yep. We've got a thousand Delta V left, so probably no landings with this mission. Let's do an EVA. Let's do an EVA when we're not time warping. Get an EVA report above the moon. My right, she's not a scientist. Never mind. All right, go inside. Take a look at mysterious goo. Okay. And observe the materials bay. 75 science, very good. Were we wise enough to put a thermometer on this thing? We were. Cool. Alright, turn on SAS so I don't have to deal with neutralizing you. Making me stop spinning. Okay, we've got some temperature readings. Get a crew report. I'll have her go EVA and grab the temperature report. Oh, we're in the lowlands now. Let's, let's do another crew report, maybe? No. EVA? Take data, store data, get on board. Cool. All right. Let's review the data here. Okay, so we can actually transmit this back to the Space Center. That's not worth it. This might be worth it. Can transmit that as well. And we got some milestones here. What do we get? Contract parameter complete. Now get the vessel back before this turns into a rescue mission. Yeah, it's probably a good plan. Contract parameter complete, very good. We've entered MUN orbit. We've performed a spacewalk around the MUN, very good. All 
right, so I'm going to throw down a cut here, folks. Unfortunately, we're not going to be using these nice little landing legs by the looks of it. So we just do not have enough Delta V to get her back. Otherwise, it's going to turn into a rescue mission. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, my name has been Ybot. I will see you guys next time.